Don't judge how this lottery winner spent his prize money. We'll show you why. Plus, we have details on a new way to enjoy the California lottery experience. Hello, I'm Donna Cordova. And I'm Russ Lopez. All those stories in just a bit, but first, we want to unravel a mystery. The mystery on how lottery funds get to your neighborhood schools. It starts out as one giant pool. Mike Bond takes it from there. Mike? That's right, Donna, and some of it goes to schools just like this one. You know every single public school in our state receives some support of funding from the California Lottery. On our website under Giving Back, there's a graphic detailing the process. Each quarter, the state controller's office audits our lottery sales, then determines how much money each school district will get. It's based on average daily attendance. Once they have that amount, the State Department of Education notifies each county superintendent of schools or office of education. County treasurers are notified, and county superintendents then inform their local education agencies. Once that funding makes its way down, your local school district administrators and school boards decide how this money is distributed and spent. Now it's important to note that we raise the money through our sales and it's the last time we have anything to do with that funding. Thank you, Mike. Now remember, lottery funding is not, it never has been the only way schools are funded. So even though you hear the lottery generated more than a billion dollars for public education last fiscal year, that billion is then divided between every public school. So now each cut is way smaller. Still, schools need and use it. Even at Johannabas High School at OH Close Youth Correctional Facility in Stockton, they use lottery funding to help cover art instruction there because it helps their students get involved, express themselves in a positive way, and prepare for their next stage in life. We're making it a point to celebrate the outstanding work all students are doing. We've got an ongoing exhibit of student artwork at Lottery Headquarters called Imagination in Education. Students at Smythe Academy in Sacramento made these. There are color wheels, line drawings, cartoons, and self-portraits. The kids even got creative using things like paper towel rolls and cotton balls to make coffee drinks, cherry pie, and broccoli. To have your school featured, have them message us at PIO at calottery.com. Now another part of what we do is crank out winners. And what you do with your money is up to you. ABC7 in Los Angeles caught up with Oscar Sosa after his most recent win. Get this, Sosa had won 25 grand playing a scratchers. When he got that check, he banked most of it, but used 200 of it to buy more scratchers. One of them, 50 times the cash, hit big. Sosa scored a million dollars. Never in my life that I would ever think that I would ever have that in, in my hands. All right, let's get real. A big two-time win like that is rare, so please keep that in mind because we want players to play responsibly. Sosa said he is going to buy a Hummer, and then he will meet with a financial advisor. That's not a bad idea. This month, we're unveiling three new scratchers. There's a $3 Loteria scratchers with a top prize of 30 grand. You can win up to 250,000 playing the $5 in the money. And the $10 million dollar jackpot game features not one, but two games on one ticket. There are 20 chances to win. We know how you enjoy spinning that lottery prize wheel at fairs and festivals. Now there's a new way to kick it with us. Go! California Lottery Live is now at LA Galaxy and San Jose Earthquakes Major League Soccer Games. Buy select lottery products and you can spin the prize wheel. No matter where you land, you win. Also, enter for a chance to win team-related prizes. There's a lot going on, so don't miss out on any of the action. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Till next time.